What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. We are back in the world of Magic Farm 2, and I'm still not dead yet. Ugh. Oh, so nice. So nice. Uh, you're going to be noticing we're going to be coming back kind of to our older format where I will be doing a little bit better split episodes. Uh, you're also going to notice, well, actually, you guys aren't going to notice because you're not going to be watching that. Um, you won't be seeing the chat on the screen. Hmm. Oh, well. I do apologize for that. I do apologize for that. Uh, that's one of the drawbacks. Uh, you know what? You know what? We're just going to edit it like normal. Fuck it. We're just going to edit it like normal. That makes it easy. That way you guys can see on the screen and we'll be, we'll be good. We'll be good. All right. So let's see. We've got... What I'm wanting to do, for those of you guys who have watched my Sky Factory episodes, is, uh, and I, I don't think we're there yet, so it's only if you've watched the Sky Factory live streams that you'll know where we're at. So right over here, we've got, this, this generator is called the High Temperature Furnace Generator. Now, the way this thing works is basically the longer it cooks, the hotter it gets, and the more power it produces, and it caps out at around... 1900, 1935, give or take. So that's... Uh, that's a pretty decent chunk of change. So with two of these, you can basically power a laser um, doohickey. I forget what they're called, the laser prechargers or whatever. So we do want to get in that direction. We do want to get in that direction. Now, we've, we've done a whole lot of, of stuff with Thomcraft recently. Um, we're going to kind of take a slight break at least today. Or, well, maybe not all day today, at least in this video from that. So I want to get one of these generators up, and then I want to get it start cooking. The reason I want to get it start cooking is uh, they, do, they do take a while to heat up. A really long time. And they are expensive. So we have seven stacks of, of charcoal here, which is good. Uh, we are going to need an epic fuck ton more of those, though. Uh, a lot more of those than we currently have. So I'm going to go ahead and start burning. Um, let's see, do we have that set up? Yep. Uh, I need to leave a, leave a couple spots open here so that it can dump in. Uh, and then we're just going to pull, I guess, three stacks is probably all we need to do for now. So I'll put that up there. Uh, we'll do one more stack. Okay. We're going to put you up here. Now you notice these are jungle trees. These are jungle trees. Now eventually what we're going to do is we're going to have a big ass, like, 23x23 jungle tree farm um assuming i can find my jungle tree saplings uh there they are so we got 15 jungle tree saplings i'm gonna go ahead and pull those out so i know where they are um because we're gonna need those here in a bit so we'll, we'll leave them up there that way we don't lose them all right so let's go ahead and start with the power generator so what we want to do is we want to make this high temperature furnace but before we do that we need a normal furnace so I need an actual normal furnace, some redstone, some iron, and an iron block. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's pull the redstone out. I've got some iron. I've got my iron block. Uh, now we really just need the furnace. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, and we'll pull, I guess it's nine, I think. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so let's just go around. There goes our furnace. I don't know where that 54 came from. I guess I had that in my inventory. Um, there we go. Click that. We got our furnace generator, and now for the high, the high generator one, we need yet another furnace. So we'll go ahead and make one more furnace. I guess I had some cobble in my inventory. I just didn't realize it. I didn't realize it. Oh, I, I, I will make sure, Jody, that we don't put uh, it too close to the house. Fear not, madam. Fear not. All right, so this is the high temperature furnace. High temperature furnace. Now, these things are absolutely too cool for school. So we're going to slap this thing right here. Um, you can see that it is hooked up now. That's that's connected. Um, and right now, over here, let's go ahead and just press O so we can get rid of this. You can see here it's got 0, 500,000 RF. Let me go ahead and read that off one more time. 500,000 RF. That's a lot. That is a that is a that is a ridiculous e epic shit ton. Like just wow. Just 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 wow. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're going to go ahead and try this. Now, I've only got seven stacks of 64. So this is going to kind of be a bitch because um, we're going to be dealing with just... Well, I'll show you guys. You guys will figure it out here in just a second. All right, so you guys can see we have a rather large amount of charcoal here. A really large amount of charcoal. So let's come over here. 
And you can see, once again, let me go ahead and turn off any eye. So we're at zero, 500,000. We've got the empty slot here. So I'm gonna put this in, bam. And I can see we're producing 41 RF and we have 55 seconds remaining. So I put another one in. Now we're up to 44, three minutes. So we put another stack in, 48, six minutes. I put another little bit in, six minutes. Bam, we're at 51 RF, 55 RF, 58 RF, 62 RF, 19 minutes at 65 RF. And you can see over here we're producing just a ridiculous amount of power. Just an absolutely ridiculous amount of power. Now, like I said, this thing can cap out at 1900. It just takes a while to get there. And this is one of those things that you kind of have to have this thing running for like ever. Forever. I mean, just, just absolutely ridiculous amounts of time. I mean, whoa my god. It's going to be forever. All right, so let's see. We're going to need our shovel. Actually, no, we're going to need our our excavator for this because we're going to have to dig some area out. And uh, let's see, where's the MFR farm? Let me turn this back on. I need to look at upgrades. And the upgrade that we want, I believe, yeah, it's this one right here. Now, previously, she had this nerfed. This used to require um, Enderium ingots and a few other things. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous they have since apparently nerfed it so with this right here you're talking a normal farm which is three by three so you're adding on 11 in all directions so it's a it's basically you're taking your three by three and you're take you're adding it to 11 so 11 plus three is what 14 so you got a 14 by 14 farm at that point that's a lot that is that's a that's a lot that's a lot. That's what? Over 144 blocks? Uh, 144, 60, 70, 170, 168? I think it is. I probably fucked up the math somewhere. It's either 168 or 178. So it is, it is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. So the problem is it requires emeralds. It requires emeralds. And here in Magic Farm, um, Jaded has made it basically impossible. Well, not impossible, but she's made it really, really hard to find emeralds. And I, I don't think we even have any. Um, where there's also no ex nilio, I don't believe. Let me look real quick. I'm pretty sure there's not. I'm pretty sure there's not. Yeah. Is it SIE? Yeah. So, um, we can't just, unfortunately, make an emerald. Like, if, if you've got it right here, you know, we click on this. You can make it from a block, you, know, you can make it from shards, you know, if you can find it from extra bees, you can make it. But there's no way to actually produce the shit, which is kind of a bummer. So, uh, we either need to find a... Oh. Okay, Poza Wufke has gone ahead and corrected me, as those of you guys who can read in chat. I'm an idiot once again. So, it's a 25 by 25 farm. Uh, I don't know what the math is on a 25 by 25 farm. Um, it's a lot. It is an epic fucking shit ton. So we are eventually going to make one of those trees. And the reason we're going to make one of those trees is because we got to keep our little thing over here fed. And it gets it gets hungry. Now, why aren't you spitting out into this chest? I think it's because this area down here. Yeah. Yeah, this area down here needs to be set up. So let's, let's come back over here to our little generator. Now, I might have to babysit this thing at least for a little bit. Uh, the reason why is it is going to be, and you can see that the timer will slowly start ticking down over here. So you can see we're down to 15 minutes and 38 seconds. The power level reduces. Now, I don't understand why the power level reduces. I think I do, and I'll explain why I think it works this way and why I think it should work a different way. The point behind this generator is the longer it runs, the hotter it gets and the more power it produces. That makes sense. It gets hotter, it's producing a, a shit ton of, of juice, et cetera, et cetera, and you're rocking and rolling, you're cooking with gas. The problem with the generator is it doesn't actually work that way. The way it works is based on the time remaining is how much time or how much power it produces. So once you reach, let's say 16 days or whatever, that's when it's gonna be producing 1900 a tick. But right now, as you've just seen, it's dropped from 60, I think we were at 62 when we first fired it up, not 63, we're down to 59. So, I mean, it's not really that big a deal. It just means you gotta keep the damn thing fed, like constantly. And because of how much it needs and how much it wants, that's gonna be really hard to 
really, really hard to keep rolling. Because, I mean, it, it. I don't think you guys understand how much... I'm like, I fed the one on Sky Factory like 20,000 uh, charcoal, and we were up in the like eight or nine hundreds a tick, which is still a lot. Uh, keep in mind, our little pipes over here, these are the uh, hardened energy conduits. So hardened energy conduits, they can only put 400 RF a tick. So we are already, with just this engine, you know, producing, what, almost 25, well, maybe about 15% of it. So... That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. So the problem, I guess, that we're running into now is I need a few things. I need a few things. Uh, number one, we need to flatten a nice area up for our farm to go. Um, and I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to turn the giant purple eyesore into our, um, into our farm. The reason I'm tempting to turn the giant purple um, eyesore into a farm is one... It's too big. It's way too big. Uh, number two, uh, well, it's, it's mainly just too big. It's mainly just too big. And we need a lot of space. So I guess I'll kind of let you guys decide, at least those of you in stream, do you want me to place my MFR giant MFing farm here? Or do you want me to level an area? Level an area. So it's, it's up to you guys. I mean, I'll kind of feel bad since we, we killed, we murdered thousands of purple trees to make this place and then if we turn it, it it oh my god just think about that we murdered thousands of trees to make this place and then we set it up and turn it into a tree farm that's like that's like insult to injury that's like stabbing somebody and then instead of stitching them up dumping like sea salt in there and grinding it up and then pouring you know lemon juice on top of it and just oh oh it's just it's just so hateful i mean just the karma damage that I would do to myself just for doing that is unreal. Unreal. All right, so Pose says if I do a full Thumbcraft and Blood Magic setup, I will need this. I will need this. So as I do intend to eventually head in that direction, we may want to keep the giant purple eyesore. We may want to keep the giant purple eyesore. So I don't know, folks. What do you think? So it looks like Pose wants me to keep it. Mike wants me to level. So that's two people that want me to keep it. Uh, Colin, he wants me to scrap it. Um, Almcast wants me to scrap it. Uh, looks like it's about two to three at the moment. And the majority of the people are not talking. All right. So we, we got enough people that want me to keep it. Um, and I, I did spend about four hours. Make, well, yeah, probably probably making it. All right, so we need to make a farm somewhere else. Now, our generator is right over there. That's where our gen is. So we need to be fairly close to our generator. Uh, the reason why is it, it just makes it a little bit easier. Now, we do have our, our giant gaping hole over here, which I need to be careful with. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig this up. I realized after I climbed up here that I kind of went in the wrong direction. So let's pick up some of this dirt real fast. There we go. Of course, I just realized I have... What, 50 cobblestone on me? Uh, let's get some food. Where's our food? Food, 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 food. Am I actually out of... Oh, okay, there it is. Right on my hotbar. Right on my hotbar. Yeah, I think everybody wants to keep the uh, the giant purple eyesore. So, all right. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, let, me, let me come over here real quick. Actually, you know what? I just figured I can jump right over here. I didn't even have to do that. All right, so this is going to be our tree farm. This is where we're going to set it up. Uh, I'm going to finally cover up the, um, what do you call it, the ravine over here, and we're just going to keep all of this. So for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, I'm going to go ahead and level this out. We're going to answer a bunch of questions on stream, chat with the people, and I'm going to get this set up cleared and clarified, and then we'll, we'll keep going. So give me a few minutes, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, it is now just me and you, and you and me. We are going to uh, we are going to level this thing. All right. So Pose says it's twenty five by twenty five. Is that is that correct, Pose? Twenty five by twenty five. Because that's 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 a big bitch. That is a big bitch. All right. So we need to come down one more floor so that we're flush with this. So let's go. Yeah, let's do this. 
Now the cool thing about this is I don't actually have to be... I don't have to actually get rid of all of the dirt. Just have to replace the area and get it, uh, get it cleared out. All right, so let's go ahead and mark our little area. So let's assume we're gonna wanna run it from right here. So let's, let's assume this is our, our home spot. So we need to do 25 by 25. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a 10 spot right there. So I'll break this. Let's go ahead and break the rest of this area here. Um, is that low enough? Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and bust this. And here we go. All right. So that's 10. This is going to be a big ass farm. Let's recount that. So one, two, three. Well, do I count the center block? Okay, so let's do 27 then, I guess. All right, so uh, we're going to place this one here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is 15. All right, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's kind of far out here. That's kind of far out here. Um, mm, yeah, that'll work. I just got to be really careful with my house, actually. I'm a little concerned because this is going to be chopping trees. And if one of the trees gets a little too close to my house, this thing could literally disassemble my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it three blocks forward. So let me go ahead and just fill all this in. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna set it up. That's our new home. So we've got you right, right here. That's uh, 10. And then I just need to come out over here and we'll just rebuild this real quick. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, uh, five. All right, so that's our side wall. That's our sidewall right here. All right, let's go ahead and set this down real quick. And then we just need to fill this in and level it off. Shouldn't take too long. Qual, I'm glad you like that. I'm glad you like that. Uh, it was one of the features that the YouTubers asked for, or the people on YouTube, I guess, asked for. So I wanted to make sure that everybody everybody kind of had their, their setup that they wanted. So that, plus it, 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 it kind of gets rid of the whole phantom people in my head thing. Uh, it lets people know, you know, who I'm talking to, what we're discussing, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so one, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Let's go six, seven, and we're out of dirt. So I need more dirt. Seven, that's seven. Hang on, we're gonna have to clear all this anyway. So let's just dig some of this up real fast. All right, we're at seven. We're probably gonna have to recount it anyway, just to make sure. So press this open. Oh shit. What did Axon say? Yeah, Jody, that would really be nasty if I was in a giant redwood. I really want to live in a giant redwood or one of those Natura trees one of these days because they, they're just fucking cool. But uh, I just I have too much of a trouble with wood. I mean, me me and wood just don't, don't get along really well. So just I have a tendency to blow it up. Really, you know, relentlessly. For those of you guys who have been watching my uh, Agrarian Skies series, you probably saw today's video where, uh, or maybe it was yesterday's video, I forget which, where I, I almost burned the entire Agrarian Skies map down because of, of, of one screw up with lava. So. All right. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I went too far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right here. This is our edge. Not out there. Hang on. Let me get rid of this. For some reason, I thought it was twenty-five. Yeah, I, I did the whole fuck up I did with the uh, giant purple eyesore again. Let's fix this real quick. Sorry, guys. Sorry. That makes it a lot easier. A lot easier, holy shit. So significantly easier.
You burned your house down with bees? That's fucking evil, man. That's fucking evil, dude. Those damn bees. Those damn bees. Alright, here we go. What's up, Prince? Alright. Alright, let's measure this one more time. One more time. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Alright, so we got one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, so I'm just gonna set that as 13. There's our border. Okay? And then over here, we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh shit, that's eleven. Okay, eleven, twelve, uh, fuck, thirteen. That's our border right there. So let's break this and we'll set that up as our border. There we go. So we've got our border now. I need to go sleep real quick so we don't die. At least we've got it all set up and uh, and aligned. Now I just have to fill it in. Now I just gotta fill it in. Pyro, how do you know so much about mods in Minecraft? Um, just playing them. Just playing them. I mean, when you when you play Minecraft 40 hours a week for two years, you tend to pick a few things up. But I'm still an idiot. I'm still an idiot when it comes to a lot of stuff. So, you know, it's... <sighs> Minecraft's one of those things that no matter how much you learn, you're still going to not know everything. You know, it's it's just very in-depth. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of mods. There's just... there's. I, I guess the, the really cool thing about Minecraft is there's just so many different ways to play the game. That's what makes it so cool. That's what makes it so fun. And so, you know, if you like... If you like PvP, there's PvP stuff you can do. If you like PvE, there's PvE stuff. You know, if you're a builder, you can build amazing things. If you're like me and you hate building, you can, you know, you can build machines and such. You know, there's there's just a lot of stuff you can do, which makes it really, really nice. So it's just uh, it's just kind of what you want to make of it, and that's what makes it so cool. That's what makes it so cool. All right, so we got one, two, three. We got three, so we need to go 13. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right there. So there's our farm. And then we need to go over real quick. Let me get this shit cleared out of the way real fast. We are not going to have enough dirt by a long shot. Thanks, Demon King. Thanks. Uh, I was mainly doing it that I meant it in a joking way. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with my knowledge of Minecraft. Uh, I was more trolling the, uh, the lore bunnies who give me shit. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is, no matter how much you learn about Minecraft, like I said, or anything else in life, there's going to be somebody out there who knows more than you or thinks they know more than you. So you're going to get shit from those type of people. You just kind of got to let it go. I enjoy it, though. I enjoy it, though. My fans, for the most part, are, are, are the best fans in the world. You guys are very nice. Most of you. There's a few exceptions, but 99% but of you are, are damn good people. And uh, I love your faces. I enjoy... Uh, I, I enjoy spending time with you guys. You know, it's it's kind of weird. You know, you think you think about it, and you know, some of you guys have become friends. You know, I've known some of you guys for years. People that I never would have met. People from other countries that you know, I'm never going to visit. You know, it's just it's just kind of cool. Uh, the the interactions that YouTube gives you and, and gives you the opportunity to make. You know, I found. I found my significant other through, you know, streaming and YouTube and, and Minecraft. You know, that's kind of, that's kind of a cool thing. That's kind of a cool thing. You know, I never would have met Riley if, uh, if I didn't do what I do. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm very appreciative that you guys put up with me and let me, uh, let me do what I do and make my living this way. All right. Right here. There we go. All right, let's head this way, and then I need to mark that corner so I know where the edge is. There we go. Let's mark the corner. Okay, corner marked. Now we just have to fill it in. 
just a matter of putting the dirt blocks down now. Which, of course, I run out of. Um, I really need to be careful jumping like that. I'm going to get myself killed here in a minute. Are you and Riley actually together? Yes. Yes, we are. We are definitely together. Pyro don't fall. I will do my best. I will do my, my best. Have I ever been to St. Louis? No. No, I have not. I have not. Um, in all honesty, I, I haven't traveled much. I, I hope to change that. Uh, but no, I, I haven't traveled much. Um, I think, let's see. I've been to Texas. I've been to Oklahoma. I've been to, uh, let's see. I've been to Louisiana. I like Louisiana. Louisiana's cool. Um, I've been to... Tennessee. I like Tennessee. Um, I've been through... I've, I drove through Kentucky. I don't know if that really counts, because if you don't do anything in the state, I don't know if that really counts as having been there. But uh, I've driven through Kentucky. I've driven through uh, Virginia. I've never been to West Virginia. Um, Arkansas. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and Maryland. Maryland. So I've uh, that's that's about the extent of my travels. I lived in Maryland for nine months. Uh, I could not get back to Texas fast enough. Not that there's anything wrong with Maryland. It's just uh, at the time in my life, it wasn't a good fit for me. It wasn't a good fit for me. All my friends were in Texas, and I just graduated from high school. You know that that time right after you graduate from high school is really really delicate. You got to be careful because. You know, you're just figuring out what you want to do. You're kind of figuring out who you want to be. Um, and we we moved across the country right then. And it was it was a very, very nasty transition. So thankfully, we were able to come back and, and uh, get out of there. But like I said, you know, I don't have any problems with Maryland. It was just uh, not really a good fit for me. This doesn't seem big enough. This doesn't seem big enough. Did I not do this right? Because this doesn't seem nearly big enough. And everything is way better than Maryland. Yeah. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's 13 over there. And we've got 13 over there. So that's 26. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I've got a 26 by 26 farm here. It just doesn't feel big enough. I don't know. It feels like I'm missing something. Pyro, you went 13 long. Oh, good call. I need to go longer. I need to go longer. So we're at 13 here. I need to go 26 because I did 13 and 13. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm with you now. I'm with you now. Have you ever met Riley in person? Uh, I haven't yet. I will be soon. All right. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. There we go. That should make it a little bit better. I have a feeling that's going to make it make it add up a little bit. You guys are having way too much fun with that. Way too much fun with that. See, I was just talking about people being nice. How many people have called me an idiot since I miscalculated? Yeah, yeah. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Uh, I don't know if the tape measure is in the pack or not. I'll have to take a look. There we go. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. Sounds good, uh, Shinji. Sounds good. Whoa. Oh, oh, you come here, dude. You come here. You're just a normal one, aren't you? Wait, where did you go? Where did you go? Where the fuck did he go? I need your pearl, dude! 
Oh man, I was gonna kill him. Oh well. Is what it is. Oh, by calling me an idiot is how you show me you love me. Thanks, thanks. That's so nice. Alright, so... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So this is the twenty-sixth spot. So I just need to bust this out all the way through. And hopefully not get a silverfish and get myself killed. Alright. And gently move forward. Can I reach it from here? I guess not. We have we have connected. They now touch. They now touch. It is all good. It is all good. Ah. Uh. My parents call me dumbass to show me they love me. Oh, J-Man, they didn't tell you? You're adopted, actually. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Just kidding, by the way. Just kidding. There we go. We need to get back to the town real quick. We're fixing to be uh, in some shit. Fixing to be in shit. Oh god, oh god. I need to hurry, need to hurry, need to hurry, need to hurry. Alright, move, move, move. Sleepy time, sleepy time. Pyro, do you have a chart of the internal affairs of Pyro? Because I cannot follow it. Not quite sure what you mean by internal affairs. I don't know what you mean. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. All right, folks. Uh, we're 46 minutes in. We're going to take a quick break. Um, give me three minutes, and we'll be right back. 